July 1st babies. Happy birthday if you are born today, July 1st, or if you know anyone born July 1st. This is a quick solar year reading, and um, this is your wish card for the solar year, so I'll flip it at the end. You can make a wish now. Where are we going to start? First, I'm going to tell you the personal personality or the underlying energy that I do feel that's going to be happening, and this is not because of this. It's the feel I got as I was anyway meditating. Um, news is going to be significant. Some of you may be dealing with a child or people younger than you. Um, a child may come up and may have some difficulties with that child. I pick up a Sagittarius or it could be just a fi fire sign type of energy. Um, I also see making a very important choice and decision. You will have two paths this year. Um, I do see still with everything that may be going on during the year, you will have some a lot of good luck on your side and there's abundant energy. Either it's growth, healing, money, some way or another. Okay, so and the way people perceive you basically is there's going to be something about you where you are changing. Um, and they, they may notice that even if you think you're not doing good, they may think you are the appearance of that. So there could be some jealousy to deal with and contend with. Okay, the solar year energies that we're seeing, you are the first now since I resumed doing birthday daily readings. You have Pluto. This is Pluto. That's the theme of the year. It's not an easy energy. Scorpio and the results in the seventh house. Okay, so this could be, and remember, it is a very general reading. Pluto, it's the Dark Lord. It is total transformation. Um, this is dealing with, it's not the easiest energy. This is death. This is rebirth. This is the underworld. This is transformation, internal, external. At least something major in uh, during the solar year will occur. And maybe succession of small, subtle things um, which will add up to major change. This is a time to be also careful. Um, there could be manipulative people around. This is also a power, uh, power struggles. There is fundamental change taking place where your old situation has, it's, it's time to change. Okay. Um, this is purging. This is, um, an energy. You have to be careful of not being obsessive as well or obsessive people around you. So it's a lot there. What I number one feel, and it is a general reading. So, and I have to move along. Endings and closures here. So that's the energy. And what's interesting, you're dealing with a Scorpio. A Scorpio is coming in very significantly. It will either help you or hinder you this year. Um, this could also be the time of Scorpio. you got a double whammy here because that is the ruler. Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. Scorpio rules uh, Pluto. Um, the time of Scorpio, which is around, uh, when does Scorpio start? And I have a Scorpio daughter. I had a Scorpio father. What is wrong with me? And I have a Scorpio stellum. Uh, when does this start? What's wrong with me? Around, okay, okay. It's approximately October 24th through November 22nd. These are cups. Could be an important time. Scorpionic energy. Secrets. Uh, secretive energy. Um, a lot of that is coming through. But that's going to bring endings and new beginnings too, okay? Now you're dealing with the results in the seventh house here. Seventh house is one-to-one -one person um, partnerships, marriage, uh, work partnerships. Also is dealing with adversaries. These are enemies, open enemies, adversaries. They could be formidable uh, challenges this year. Can deal with offic uh, official agreements. I feel there's a sense though. Because you have so much Pluto and you have Scorpio too, it tells you to proceed with caution, okay, with your one-to-one -one relationships. This can indicate a serious a bond, marriage, or dissolution. Maybe you'll end a partnership, maybe you'll end a marriage, or you will form one. I mean, you know, it's different for everyone. So it's very, very interesting. Quite interesting reading. Okay, the solar year card for the year you have is the Four of Swords. It is vital with the Four of Swords, because you need recovery, watch your health and well-being, because you have so much Plutonic energy here, too, and that that can cause, you know, sometimes we need to go to therapy. We have to purge. This brings up our inner demons. There's a lot going on. Maybe people around us will have issues. You need to take breaks. You need to recover. Okay? It's very, very important. 
All right. Separate from anything that does cause you stress as well. Silent contemplation is in power here. Separating from anything that's not good for you. What I see that a lot of things I think may start occurring now in the next two weeks already. Now, take breaks because a lot of times during the year, solar year, it's going to be very fast paced. When things come in, it's going to be a bang and then things start moving and you're going to have to keep uh, recovering a lot. You have to always take some rest. Whatever you're working on, do not work or overwork and then let things develop slowly. OK, so that is what I see there. Now for your gemstone oracle card for the theme of the year is Apache Tears. All right. It says, are you grieving the loss of someone or something? Feel the grief and allow yourself to cry. Release the toxins from your body, mind, and emotional being. Comfort and peace are close at hand. Focus your attention on your desired outcome. Now this could be quite fitting with this Plutonic energy because Pluto is death and rebirth. Okay. Um, and there's definitely going to be significant endings. We're dealing with, you know, sometimes, you know, we see death around us too, physical deaths, and it just questions our own mortality, okay? But at the same time, there are some losses because there's endings, but it's purging things that are good for you. Now, I do gemstone readings, and my take on this will be, yes, readjustments, purging things. There's a sense of negativity here, okay? Um, Re-evaluations, re re the blocks you had, the obsessions, um, people that are not good around you. Yeah, it can be grieving. We're, we're kind of, um, you know, upset here too. It's a, it's a darker energy. There's a lot of adjustments that need to be made, a lot of changes. So things are not going to turn out the way you thought they would be. Maybe there's going to be some disappointments or it'll turn out even better. better. You do have help if you need it. Just know there's helpful energy. And there is going to be a challenge of feeling alone, even when you're around other people. Or there's going to, this is going to, this song right here that I see is going to, sh if I had it on mine and I cast this and I see this, I'd be talking about you may feel some kind of a void that you need to fulfill. What is it that wasn't fulfilled? So it's pretty dark, uh, pretty uh, intense. So there's a sense of intensity to your solar year here, okay? Now, the energy of the day for today, you have the sun. How beautiful. OK, so today, July 1st, we, uh, the sun is appearing. What is the sun? It's laughter. It's joy. It's happiness. It's um, it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, bask yourself in the sunshine. OK, it's it's a look. He's carefree. Beautiful. The thing is, it's it, there is some maybe scattered energy around you, but that could be excitement and happiness. This also is the birth of something new. So it's beginnings. Anything, the seeds you plant now, they will come, you know, to some kind of fruition or start blooming maybe in the fall. Okay, so that's another thing. Maybe some of you are going to be planning a vacation or a trip or somebody comes to visit or you maybe, I feel there's some movement here. So you may be even taking a trip. So that's beautiful energy. So enjoy it. Now, your solar, your wish for the year. Let's see. Magician. So Basically, it would be a definite yes answer. But what does the mis mag magician say to? You have this power. You have the talents. You have all the tools to make this wish come to fruition. As above, so below. Keep things positive. You have all the tools to make this wish positive, to bring it to fruition. This is something that um, you have to leave something that maybe was hindering your block, uh, a blockage or so there was something that was emotionally upsetting. Uh, moving forward is going to help you with this too. For others, if it's got to do with love or something, maybe you're going to be making some commitments. Maybe you decide to uh, buy a place together. Something there looks good even with love. For others, maybe you'll be missing someone. I feel this this could be um, also um, someone coming back from the past. It's a nice, uh, pleasant reunion. All of it is very manageable. So you do have a yes here. Now, the numbers that I think are going to be powerful for your solar year is one, seven, seven. But honestly, I felt that seven before it came. Now, there is an underlining energy or a hidden, I want to say, number for of the year is eight. Okay? Well, happy birthday. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now.